okay guys so in this video we are going to do financial analysis and interpretation you can also call it a ratio analysis okay so let's look at the question paper that we have so we have been given information and after that they also give us a required so without wasting more time guys let's start with our 5.1 our 5.1 they said that we have to calculate acid test ratio okay when we calculate acid test ratio obviously the first step is to lay down the formula the formula said our current assets minus inventory is to current liability okay so in other words guys when we are doing acid test ratio we want to see if the company will be able to pay what a short term when we talk about a current assets and current liability we're talking about a short asset or a short term liability so we want to see if we will be able to cover our short term liabilities with the in uh, our current assets that we have that does not have what inventory in other words this formula assumes that inventory is acid for example if you are a business that is selling a bread a bread can expire in time so in, in other words we want to see if we don't have those bread are we going to manage to pay our our liability so the norm for this formula is one is two one the minimum must be this side must be the same with this side so that this side must be able to pay the liability okay so now let's check with the information that we have so that we can do calculation so if you check on the table we have data which is current assets we also have inventory which is a current asset we have a bank we have petty cash and we have cash float okay so you need to add all of them and then you subtract inventory even inventory you have to add it first so that you can also do what subtract it otherwise you will not be using a formula if you didn't add inventory okay let me show you here it's 220 800 plus uh, 151 200 plus 40,000 plus 5,000 plus 2,500 you have to add all these then now when it comes to this side of current liability we only have 77,000 that's the only current liability that we have okay then remember after you add this you have to subtract what inventory okay then if you add all this you are going to get amount of 268,300 then you minus inventory now 151,200 and it's 277,000 okay and you will get okay apology this this will be 419 500 minus this one then you will get 268 300 is to 77 000. okay then after that you said this one divided by this one it will going to give you this side is always one and you said this one divided by this one you're gonna get amount of 348 is to one so now it's time to comment what do you think is it good or bad obvious this is very good guys because our assets is more greater than liability by 3,48 times which means that our comment we are going to say business has good acid test ratio then you you can also just point that because uh, the norm is one is to one and the result is three comma forty eight okay then the next one they said that we have to calculate average collection period for data okay five point two average collection period for debtors 
okay we also have for creditors now but we are going to do for debtors so what does this formula mean or what does this ratio mean this ratio a uh, simple means that we want to see how many days do we take to collect our money from the people or from the customers who purchase to us on credit remember it's not everyone who purchase in terms of cash some of them they come to us and borrow some of them they pay late some of them they pay early some of them they just pay within a month so this formula is going to show all this those days okay so the formula said um, average data average data divided by by credit sales my blah by 365 okay when they said average data they simply means that add amount of last year and this year and divide by two that's what we call average we can't say average if you are talking about one balance okay let's take the data of last year and this year data of last year it was 158,000, and for this year plus 220,800. add these together and divide them by two before you proceed then now what, let's go to credit sales credit sales uh, we have our sales amount and in the in brackets they said that 60 percent is on credit which means that we take our sales of 2017 because we're calculating ratio for 2017 they say that it's 60 percent which means that 60 percent of uh, 1 million 980 my blood by 60 percent is gonna give us a credit sales okay if you do these calculations uh, you are going to get amount of one one eight eight zero zero my blood by three sixty five so it's best it's best for you to add these two together and divide by two and get answer and put it here then you can punch into your calculator so that you can get a correct result so it will give you fifty eight comma nineteen this is this in other words we take 58 days to collect money uh, from our our data so is it good or bad in other business is good in other business is bad but in this case we can just assume that a norm uh, because they didn't specify on the information uh, okay number three they say business grant granted two months credit to creditors in other words uh, our creditors give us uh, 60 days to do what to pay a debt so which means that we collect within 60 days to our to our customer which means that now this is good because uh, if we can collect to these people within 60 days we have money to do what to pay our supplier but if our supplier said they collect within 30 days and now as we collect in 58 days is very bad because we won't have money to do it to pay our supplier so this is good this is good ratio okay then the next one uh, is gross profit percentage on turnover okay we need to calculate this one okay it's 5.3 5.3 they say that uh, we need to 5.3 we need to calculate gross profit on sales or on turnover is the same guys once you have formula that you have the words on uh, guys th this one there's no need for you to even cram the formula because what they are saying they are saying take this amount and divide by this one multiply by 100 very simple but all profitability formula they are just like that so in other words it's a gross profit divided by sales multiply by 
100. Once you see the words on, guys, you are going to kill it. Okay, let's take gross profit. Gross profit is amount of 1775600. Then we divide by amount of sales of 198 1980000 and we multiply by 100. So if you calculate it like this, you're gonna get amount of 89 a percentage i mean 89,68 percent is it good or bad this is uh, very 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 good the reason is because remember they said the business maintains 70 percent gross profit markup now we got 89 which means that we got higher than the maintenance of 70 percent so your comment is going to be very good okay 5.4 stock stock turnover rate stock turnover rate how many times do we turn our inventory okay in other words you know that maybe we can uh, order a stock today and sell it within a month which means that if we sell it within a month it's possible that we can stock two times in a month so that's what we are going to see in this calculation how many times okay they said that additional information number one they say that the stock turnover rate to other business that are selling same item with us okay it's three times per year so now we want to see in our business how many times okay so the formula said cost of sales divided by average stock once you see the words average guys add balance of last year and this year and divide them by two very simple there's no multiply by 100 here guys because we are looking for times how many times not percentage okay our cost of sales is 204 400 okay and then average stock uh, for last year is 188 thousand and for this year is 151 200 add them together and divide by two okay then if you first add these two and divide by two and you say this one divide by the answer that you got you will get amount of one comma 28 times is it good or bad this is very bad guys in other words we stock only one comma 28 times in uh, for the whole year imagine other business that are selling the same good with us they're 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 they're, they're stocking three times so obviously there is something wrong in our business it's either we are charging too much price our um gross profit percentage is too high it's either we are charging too much uh, too much price or i don't know it can be a lot of uh, reasons why people are not coming uh, to buy to us than compared to other businesses. It's either or we're not doing advert or something like that. Okay, then uh, the last one, current ratio. 5.5. 5. Current ratio, guys, is similar with the first one that we did because its current asset is to current liability and we already calculated a total of current assets by adding all those items except what except creditors okay it's gonna be four one nine five hundred is to uh, seventy seven thousand okay and the answer for this one is gonna be five comma four five is to one you take this one divide by this one is give you one this one divided by this one is give you this one so what about the comment for this one obviously this norm guys and the norm is two is two one so it's more than the norm because it's five comma 45 is to one it's a way it's it's, it's more like a, it's a it's a double we have more assets compared to what to liability which means that uh, this ratio look very good so thank you so much for watching guys please don't forget to subscribe we are reaching almost to 10,000 subscribers very soon so make sure that you are part of our 
10,000 journey and 1 million views. I'm gonna see you on the next one.